ISRO launches the seven foreign satellites into space. The Indian Space Research Organization launched the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Now, this launch took place at 6.30 a.m. from the first launch pads. Those are the visuals that you are seeing on your screens. The primary payload of PSLV C-56 mission is now up in the space. And those are the visuals that you are seeing. The launch took place at 6.30 in the morning, one more feather in the cap of ISRO, that is the Indian Space Research Organization. My colleague Pramod Madhav is now joining me. Pramod, one after the other, we are seeing ISRO making sure that India makes a space for itself globally when we speak about satellites and when we speak about space. It absolutely is, and uh, for ISRO PSV uh, launch, it has become a kind of routine, and uh, this is like uh, the 58th mission of for the PSLV alone. So that's the reason it's called as the uh, workhorse of ISRO. And this time, the main satellite is called as DSSAR, which is a Singapore-based satellite, and it carries a synthetic aperture radar, uh, which actually is, will be used uh, uh, for uh, uh, to provide data about the weather and uh, uh, like uh, night coverage, and it's capable of one meter resolution. That's the best. best part about this satellite and along with it six different satellites which are like tech technology demonstration satellites and nano satellites have also been launched and the actual payload was to, is to be launched at 535 kilometers above earth with an inclination of five degrees and the entire mission is for about uh, 20 minutes uh, so the launch was around uh, 6.30 in a.m. and uh, it has been uh, uh, successful and yes, it's uh, definitely uh, like uh, the uh, the satellite which was uh, DSSAR was uh, weighing 360 kilograms and it has become a, a simple, uh, like a Ford ISRO, PSLV has definitely become a successful part and in fact, as we speak, ISRO is getting ready for Chandrayaan 3 and also the Gaganyaan projects. So, uh, you know, Prabhupada, you are speaking about the Chandrayaan 3 and also the Gagan project. So, do you believe now in, in years to come, the world will look at India, uh, you know, as almost a partner? And in, in some spheres, almost, you know, it seems like India will be able to lock, uh, you know, leapfrog and make sure that it creates a place for itself. Well, uh, to be honest, within the scientific community and the people who follow space research, ISRO has already made its mark because uh, no matter how many times various uh, uh, nations have gone to the moon and they have done research on the moon, it was Chandrayaan 1, which actually gave conclusive data about the presence of water in the moon and that in the moon can be used as a pit stop for any other research to any other planets. In fact, now research is also going on in various uh, high-tech nations about how to use utilize this water uh, for a base on moon and such and that's the reason uh, the whole world is looking at the law i mean uh, the uh, uh, chandrayaan 3 project itself because as chandrayaan 3 the uh, main module reaches moon more information and more clarity will be provided by isro definitely and that's the reason it has become a very important aspect and regarding chandrayaan uh, gaganyaan isro is also planning to send astronauts to the space even though russia china us have done it but when India is planning to do it, the whole world is looking at it because the, the main part is about using technology and cost effectively. Because last time when we spoke to Somnath, he very clearly mentioned that he knows what India needs as a nation. And so ISRO is working in that angle. And that's the reason uh, every project of ISRO is keenly watched. Thank you, Pramod, my colleague, giving us all the details. A feather in the cap for ISRO now. Another launch took place at 6.30 in the morning.